Christians in their thousands on Thursday besieged the ever-busy roads in Anambra State, calling on the chief whip of the Senate, Senator Ojo Zokalu, to contest for the 2023 presidential election. Kalu, who was billed to deliver a keynote address at an entrepreneurship youth program held in the state, was received with chants of solidarity by the youth. The entrepreneurship program tagged Access More with Stanley was organized by Anambra born business mogul Dr. Stanley Uzochuku in collaboration with Access Bank. Anambra State Government, AOP, Bond Hotel, and other top rated business entities. Displaying their various colorful placards and banners with inscriptions such as Oji Uzokalu for Presidency 2023. The youths in their thousands trooped to the major road on sighting Senator Kalu's convoy. The development prompted the chief whip or the chief whip's convoy to slow down for Kalu to acknowledge the greetings and cheers of the visibly excited groups. Recall that earlier same day, the governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano, received Kalu in the Anambra State Government House, Oka. Obiano, who was represented by the deputy governor, Dr. Nkem Okeke received Kalu and his entourage at 1.10 p.m. and proceeded for a private meeting. In an exclusive chat with one of the youth leaders, Okeze Ibezim, on the motive behind a rousing welcome, said the Southeast Zone are with the interest of becoming equal among other regions of Nigeria in the leadership of the nation. Ibezim's, in Ibezim's words, the relative peace of the nation can be achieved if all stakeholders of the United Nigeria are carried along. Given equal opportunity and 2023 is actually the time to include the Southeast into the leadership of Nigeria. We are here today to welcome our one of our own, Dr. Oji Uzokalu to Anambra State. The youth you see gathered today had prayed for a time like this, an opportunity to tell Dr. Oji Uzokalu our views on the presidency in 2023. We want him to run for the presidency in 2023, for it is our right, going by the rotation seen so far since 1999. We are happy he's here today. You can see that from the crowd here, you can see that from the crowd that are here to welcome him. Speaking further on the agitation and unrest by some of the Southeast indigenous to secede, Okay, they said those motives were driven by the way the zone had been marginalized. He said, we have not forgotten how this region has been marginalized for decades. That is the reason and very reason we still have some Igbos not believing in the nation Nigeria. 2023 is another time for Nigerians to prove we are a one united nation. 2023 will either change the thinking of an average Igbo man to believe if we are united in one purpose or not. We are ready to support our own. We are ready to even change the economy of the nation. We have the skills naturally and we have the people that are with the capacity to make Nigeria a great nation. Dr. Oji Uzokalu is one of those persons from this region that we know 
and belief can take on this tax. We have our rally, we have to rally around him. Okay, they stressed the need of other regions to throw their weights behind the Igbo presidency vision for 2023, just as they have supported other regions, be it in the PDP or the APC. We had supported other regions in the past elections, be it in the PDP and the APC. He said, no region is an island to the success of elective presidential positions in Nigeria. Anambra is all progressive grand alliance, is an Abga state. But you can't, you can't say the state had no single vote in respect to elected presidents from other political parties that had mounted the presidential seats. I see no reason why other regions should turn their back on the Southeast, for no one knows where the Messiah would come from. The lecture was delivered by Senator Kalu at the Stanley Dome, the venue of the event. The event also had in attendance the Deputy Governor of Anambra State, Dr. Nkem Okeke, former Senate President and Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Anyem Pius Anyem, Founder and President and Chairman Kostaris Group, Dr. Cosmos Maduka, former Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Professor Charles Soludo, the CEO of Airpeace Airlines, Alan Onyema, founder, Center for Value in Leadership, Professor Pat Otome, Honorable Chris Azubogo, Speaker, Anambra State House of Rep Assembly, Right Honorable Victor Uche Okafo, Honorable Edoze Madu, and traditional rulers among others. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? As it were, do you feel that Ojiz Okalu would make a good president, or should you think that he is um, most qualified among others, uh, Igbo, or among other Igbo sons, to occupy the seat and become the president of Nigeria? Well, it remains to be seen. 2023 is not far away. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular issue. Well, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.